Mask Creation and today guys I'm doing another Disney Princess and Villain Kids video. I have done three episodes of this, all scattered across many months. But yeah, I've done Jafar and Jasmine. I have done no, I haven't done Ariel that. I have done Tiana and Dr. Basilia and Belle and Gaston Lego. I think my next one I'm gonna do that will be Ariel and Ursula. I think that could be very, very fun. Lots of different colours going on. But yeah, today we are doing Rapunzel and Mother Gothel because it's just for fun. Like, I ain't shipping these villains and princesses or anything. But it's just like a, oh, I wonder, you know, my main curiosity came with, because the villains have such angular features and, you know, creepy looking designs, you know, how would it mesh with a perfect Disney princess character design, you know? And it turns out, sometimes you get really weird designs, like, Jasmine and Jafar's. Oh yeah, some really weird faces in that video from the, from Jafar's genetics. But yeah, with this one, we had a lot more normal looking Sims, but also like a lot of the Sims look like Mother Gothel. <laughs> like Mother Gothel clearly had a predominant genes in this baby making process because Rapunzel girl, her genes were not spreading. Only the last two, two three kids got her genes well i guess it is kind of equal the first three kids got black hair and the last three kids got blonde hair so i guess it's kind of 50 50 but like a lot of them overall got like a lot of mother gothel vibes like two of the daughters just straight up look like mini mother gothel like it's kind of insane so yeah the way how this game mixes genetics is definitely pretty funny because like it can go one way or the other way they're not usually perfect 50 50 blend if you get what i mean but yeah we got some pretty cute sims in this sort of bundle in this challenge as always i did um i went girl boy girl boy girl boy you're so good like a even amount of sort of genders and whatnot so yeah we've got some girls we've got some boys we've got both genders but yeah this kid in particular heidi yeah she just looks like mother gothel straight up i'm not even gonna lie it's just like how why what <laughs> I also recently had to upgrade some of my CC because um, the eyelashes have obviously had a whole overhaul in the main game and I had not yet actually got new eyelashes yet because the old eyelashes weren't actually working at all so I had to get the new version of the like um, eyelashes because the original eyelashes that I had, I've had in my game for donkey's years have been there since like 2017 and they just broke with the recent update so I had to go like brand new eyelashes but yeah that took me a while to give it down but we have a great eyelash collection now which is awesome <laughs> but yeah so i have to do a bit of upgrading there but yeah we had some really fun sims out of this video but yeah i think the next one i'm going to do is ariel and ursa but that could be a kind of a fun combo and um, yeah i really sort of love this sort of video i don't do it too often you know i do it every sort of few months but it's a lot of fun to kind of do and you get some, like I said, some really unique and interesting sort of looking sims, which I really do quite enjoy. So, you know, it is quite a fun thing. Anyways, so on the last two kids now, and the, the, this kid here that we're currently kind of doing, she looks, you know, so much like Rapunzel, it's kind of insane. Like, it's like, um, it's like she came around and I was like, finally, we have the Rapunzel looking child here. <laughs> I haven't had too many of those this video. <laughs> but yeah, this, this child looks a lot like Rapunzel. Savannah, yeah, she is just Rapunzel doppelganger, basically. The really frustrating thing is that they all got, like, Mother Gothel's squashed head, whereas Rapunzel has this beautiful, elongated face. Everyone got this mother gothel phase which means you all have like these squash heads but you know I, I think the curly hair really complimented a lot of these kids like them these guys rock the curls i actually only gave one kid straight hair i believe because they all had like a bit of curls in their hair except the last kid so i want to change him up a bit if i'd argue the last kid is the most different from all the other kids i tried to give him a bit of a different flair he kind of screams more Flynn Rider actually than Mother Gothel or Rapunzel, so he definitely is giving off a whole different vibe than the other kids. But let's be real though, like 80% of these kids are just like Mother Gothel doppelgangers. 
But yeah, from what we found out is Mother Gothel has the dominant genes in this pairing and it looks like it doesn't quite match but yeah, they are about 50-50 there in all fairness. Anyways, that's about it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye everybody!